the boys are not identical twins. Not identical in many ways. <laughs> Golden heart syndrome is incredibly rare. People don't understand what causes it. For Harry, it's affected the left-hand side of his face. We've had people send messages with things like he should be killed with fire, that he's disgusting and disgraceful, that his face shouldn't be shown. I'm quite protective of Harry when we're out and about. I'm always looking around thinking that people are staring at him, even if they're not. You love Oliver, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Love Oliver? Yes or no? Mm. Yes, he's your... His. Friend and your bro mm -hmm. brother! High five! The boys are twins, but Oliver was born first. The boys are not identical twins. They're not identical. In many ways. <laughs> My boys were born by emergency caesarean and they were two months early and they only weighed £3.9 each. The paediatrician came to see us and said that twin one, Oliver, was fine, but twin two, Harry, had been born with a rare craniofacial condition. For Harry, that meant that he'd been born with no eye, no eye socket, no ear, no nostril, and a short, underdeveloped jaw, all on his left-hand side. And they said that associated with that may be brain damage and that potentially he may never walk. And that came as a massive blow, a real shock to, to us both. But me in particular, I felt that it was all my fault and I'd failed him massively. So that was a really difficult time for me. Golden Heart Syndrome is incredibly rare. People don't understand what causes it. For how it's affected the left-hand side of his face, thankfully not his mobility. He does also have a diagnosis of autism. He does struggle with communication, so you can't really engage Harry in a conversation. We like the piano. What else do we like? Nice. We like li <laughs> lips. He functions around about four years old for many things. So he has challenges in terms of expressing himself, in terms of personal care, in terms of dealing with other people. He has no danger awareness. He does bring different challenges to the relationship. Right, who's looking there? Oliver wants a brother and a playmate. Harry just wants his own space and to be left alone. Uh, and he can... He can Harry. be quite demanding, Harry. but he can also lash out at times. So we do have a fabulous relationship as a unit, as a family, but equally it is really challenging and I don't think it's fair to pretend otherwise, really. What's wrong? The theatre built. Thank you very much. There we go, I'll bring mine. Come on, it's up first. Good boy. We're different or the same, Harry? Same Harry. We're the same? Okay. Well, according to Harry, we're the same. And I think we are, to some respect, anyway. We're still brothers, we like the same things, mostly, anyway. I often say that in families like ours, it's the siblings of the, the children with the conditions that are the unsung heroes. He has had to accept, sometimes, being a little bit in the background when Harry's conditions have taken priority. He's always been a young carer. One thing I like about drawing is it's kind of peaceful. I can just relax. It's like one of the only things that just calms me down. Being a young carer is kind of like, like you've always got to help them with stuff or put your own needs after theirs because in like the respect of everything, their needs are much higher than yours. You can never really relax. So I guess it's just draining really because you never really know what's going to happen with someone when they're autistic could be fine one minute and then they could lose it the next. It's quite difficult to know how aware Harry is of his conditions. When Harry was much younger and he looked much different before his surgery, we'd have people pointing, staring, whispering, saying nasty things, calling him names, following us around stores. So that was really challenging. So in many ways, the autism does protect him a lot from the prejudice and discrimination that's out there to people that do look different at times. Oliver was probably around five or six years old when he began to realise how people were reacting to Harry. And, and I could see that it would make him really angry and he just didn't know what to do with that anger. No, all the way around. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm quite protective of Harry when we're out and about, so the way I am now, I'm always looking for people to Insulting, I'm always looking around thinking that people are staring at him even if they're not. There are there are positive sides to having a brother like Harry. Like 
you've always got a younger brother, you've always got someone to share a laugh with. Harry, is Oliver a good brother, yes or no? <sighs> yes. You heard it, I'm a good brother. Oh. What are you watching, mate? For me, social media is, is a brilliant platform. We have yeah. had trolls and we've had negative experiences. So we've had people send messages with things like he should be killed with fire, that he's an abomination of God, that he's disgusting and disgraceful, that his face shouldn't be shown. But for every one person that's awful, there's an army of people with compassion and love and acceptance who are willing to stand up for Harry. I think probably the biggest thing that having my boys has taught me as a parent is that there's no such thing as perfect. Sometimes imperfectly perfect is good enough. 